right, let me just adjust the camera. All right, I feel like this is not the right lighting, but it's gonna have to do because <laughs> it gets so dark here in Seattle. By 3.30, it's, it feels like it's already seven o'clock at night. All right, aloha friends. Welcome back to a Simply Simple Scent. I hope you guys had an amazing uh, Thanksgiving. Uh, with your loved ones whether it was through zoom the way that we did it or a small gathering um, back to gosh my gosh I can't believe it's already December uh, December 2nd today so I did already this is going to be my scent scentsy warmers and scents that I have been enjoying in my home but I did already use my phone camera to um, film my living room when I first woke up this morning because of the lighting some of the warmers I uh, turn on first thing in the morning or into the evening time because of the um, the, the darker surrounding <laughs> it's best lit when it's a darker surrounding okay so I've already filmed that I'm gonna add that onto this one and then also I think I'm gonna showcase my Disney love <laughs> so I, I'm always rearranging stuff, so I, I'm not buying new stuff. I love to shop around the home. I'll, I'll take stuff from upstairs, bedrooms, bathrooms, and then you know work them around the home. And then um, I added uh, buddies in here, the Scentsy Buddy, and then also my purchase from uh, Downtown Disney in California when I went there before we had the quarantine. Um, and then again some warmers that I have these are just some of the Scentsy Disney warmers I, I do have some but I do I'm not using it they're on display onto the shelf all right so I'll showcase that and then I'll show you guys some scents that I have been enjoying okay so before I go through some bricks and then some some bars I want to show you guys again I'm still using the scents of the season now the scents of the season are sold out except for I believe red berry and, and spruce. The, two days ago is the last time I checked. The last time I checked it was still available. And then unfortunately uh, gingerbread hugs. Oh I'm so sorry. I think the only thing available is uh, Wassail Wonderland and then everything else is sold out. So red berry and spruce and then cookies for Santa and then gingerbread hugs are no longer available but you can still I believe you can still add it onto your Sensi Club. I'm so sorry. It's like you have to really check every single day. And I check in the morning, but things happen so fast that sometimes information like sold out changes throughout the day kind of thing. So last time I checked, you can still add these onto your Sensi Club. I do have cookies for Santa, gingerbread hugs, and of course, Wassail Wonderland onto my Sensi Club. I might even add red berry and spruce because at first I did not like this. I am beginning to love it. It's a really nice Christmas fruity scent. It has cranberries and raspberries in there that allows those, I believe it's spruce, um, spruce scents to just mix in with the berries that just makes it a really nice uh, berry Christmas, uh, berry, not very, berry Christmas scent. Okay, so still loving those. And then I ordered my second order. This was my first order, so I only have one of each. I ordered, um, I think, six or four of these, six of these, and then two of the gingerbread hugs. And I, I believe it was like the 23rd, 22nd of November. Today is already December 2nd, and it's still posted. <laughs> posted means it's just posted. They, they, they haven't even looked at it yet. So I'm hoping that it will be shipped out soon because I do have some customers order into that um, into that order. So hoping that they can get their orders. All right, so got that. Let me go ahead and go through two of my bricks. So for the bricks, I got ginger and spruce and then candy cane. Candy cane is just a really nice, again, Christmas scent. Um, it's just, it's a peppermint. It, it seems like it seems like every Christmas you can never go wrong with like um, a release of like a peppermint scent through uh, through Scentsy and we have been using this upstairs at night and for me to go through half of a brick it's really it's really good for me because it you it's so hard to go through bricks but I'm on a mission I'm on a mission before the end of the year that I will go through one brick I don't care if it's blueberry cheesecake I don't care if it's a very snowy spruce 
or what was the other one um chai latte i think it's the one that i'm almost almost done but i will go through them okay um this one candy cane wishes again it's into the hallway upstairs i have this mostly upstairs because it's it's more of a lighter note it's perfect for a bedroom but for an open concept like my studio here this is a um, second living room that i turned into my uh, my studio so it has um like a family room in here i have a pool table now which <laughs> i did not want but it's here so tv so this is a very um open space and then my living room is open space to the dining room and then it goes upstairs i like it in there but i feel like it only lasts about a day but in the bedroom it lasts about two days um for one cube okay so really happy with that but it's a very nice christmas scent it's just like a um smooshed up candy cane um, like somebody crushed up all these candy canes and then just drizzled it onto your Scentsy dish. So it's um, amazing. I really love it. Okay. That came out maybe last year. Ginger and spruce. Now, if you guys are into like the ginger scent, then you will really like this one. To me, I feel like it's got too much ginger, but at times you kind of need that, that ginger. Um, it is currently into the living room. And again, it's one of my favorite scents, I guess, because look, I'm down to the three cubes at the bottom, and then you have these cubes here, but that's because um, one cube, I cut it into four, so that's one, two, three, four, that's just one, one large brick cube in there. But this one is, you can smell the spruce and definitely the, um, the ginger, that ginger note to it that makes it... Um, Gosh, I don't know if you guys have ever felt, um, like, if, if you feel sick. I don't know if your parents or grandparents have ever given you, like, a ginger hot tea. Um, I like that. Uh, ginger and lemon kind of thing kind of oozes my, my nose, my throat. This is how I feel with this sometimes. Um, but that spruce is overpowering. So, that the, the, the soothing of that ginger is not really taking into effect because of the spruce being also so powerful so there's two scents that's very powerful the ginger and the spruce at the same time for this one okay but i do like it <laughs> i um i warm this if i'm cooking something like i did the fried chicken uh recipe that i posted onto my other live ch uh, channel oh my gosh that is like a family recipe favorite uh with uh, my my aunt and i finally made it it is amazing um amazing it's like um the kids said that kids and hubby said it was like a Popeye's recipe. So after that, because I don't like the smell of oil, I warm a couple cubes of this into the kitchen as well as into the the middle of the living room and kitchen area. Okay, so like that, it, it kind of clears out like the bad smell. Okay, all right. So then I have two regular uh, bars. Um, one is winterberry um, apple tea. Winterberry apple tea is one of my favorite, favorite scents um, onto a Scentsy Go. Um, it just lasts forever. The Scentsy Go pods to me last, it lasted over a year. And actually, you can still smell it, so I can still use it. But I went ahead and changed it to the tiramisu uh, last time. Okay, so winter, winterberry tea. Scentsy says this one is uh, winter tea, cozies up to cranberry, apple, and honey. Again, it smells amazing. I would love this into a laundry line because uh, Scentsy went away with my ocean. I'm currently using jamming time um, and I love that. And also lavender uh, whiff, but I would love this into a laundry line. It just smells amazing. Okay, oh, I think I had like maybe three or four cubes left and then I went ahead and used that up between changing it upstairs bathroom and then my bedroom and then I think um into hubby's office from what i remember okay um i also went on um, i also have went through oh that smells so good christmas cactus christmas cactus to me is it's a nice refreshing neutral scent it's not strong at all it's it's very light um it's agave nectar it reminds me of um aloe vera is it the aloe vera scent but aloe vera is so so subtle um, that you can really honestly barely smell anything in there. So this has more of a, a, a punch to it, but not too much. <laughs> agave, um, agave nectar and citrus rim 
Siberian fur for a new kind of winter uh, wonderland. Um, I think this was my leftover one from last year. This is a returning scent. And again, very subtle. Um, it's perfect to put into like the bathrooms. Um, currently, uh, right now it's into my bathroom downstairs. But um, office, like small office, this is perfect for like if you have company over and you don't know what kind of scents they like and you don't want them to have that overpowering scent that you may be accustomed to or you may like with the cinnamons and apples and spices, this is perfect for that. I, I call this like the spa, spa scent. All right, I said last uh, video that I like uh, very snowy spruce next to my Christmas trees and I cannot tolerate ice pine. So I broke out ice pine um, because ice pine is a very powerful Christmas scent. I think it's the most powerful Christmas scent out there. So ice pine, Sensi says, is as refreshing as a walk through newly fallen snow, green fir, and pine kissed by icy peppermint. I don't honestly smell too much peppermint. Maybe there is. I'm just so accustomed to it. Just be, it's, it's very strong. So what I did was um, my very snowy spruce next to my Christmas tree, which is my warm melt my heart mug. And then the one that I showed you guys last video, which is the gingerbread mini warmer. So on one of them, I um, replaced it with ice pine. So I'm going to try that out tonight. It's still fresh in there, but I'm going to see how it is because I do leave the, uh, those on because it's an element warmer. I, I feel comfortable leaving it on overnight compared to uh, a light bulb warmer. I don't like to leave the light bulb warmers on except for like the mini, um, mini warmer because it is such a low wattage. Um, but I'm going to see how it is because I really want to have that... Um, even though I have a flock, you know, fake tree, I really want to smell that Christmas tree scent. So, gonna try that out, and hopefully, um, hopefully it doesn't. It's not so overpowering on my nose. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and end that now because I'm trying to really not make these kind of videos too long. I'm trying to really like stay under like the 18 minutes. I would love it to be just 10 minutes, but you guys know I talk too much. But I want, before I let you guys go, I want to be able to show you this one onto this camera. And then I'll just add on the footage that I took uh, this morning. As always, friends, thank you guys for visiting me here on my new uh, Sensi channel of a Simply Simple Scent. I also did open up an Instagram of a Simply Simple Scent as well as a TikTok of a Simply Simple Scent. So I'm sharing some stuff there almost on a daily basis. I do get uh, pretty busy with my uh, four kiddos and um, you know being at home and being quarantined. So lots of stuff to do but of course I love my Sensi and I love to share information with you guys. As always friends, mahalo! Alright so first of all um, this is the area that you guys see when I am filming. Um, we have the Cinderella warmer over here. Uh, we have the Tinkerbell, okay, Faith, Trust, and Pixie Dust. Then we have the Frozen warmer, and these are all no longer available. They were limited, um, limited edition. We have Jack Skellington Scentsy Buddy. We have Jack Skellington warmer, okay. And this is a Scentsy Warmer. I forgot what this one is called, but I can definitely put it onto the description box. That is the Scentsy um, Nordic, Saint Nordic, I believe it is. And then this is the Scentsy Villains Warmer. There is um, Olaf Scentsy Buddy. And then these are the Gingerbread Mickey and Minnie that I had gotten over at the, the Disney um oh gosh first week of december i think it was or no i'm sorry first week of november at downtown disney when we went um hubby and i went for a trip over in california this wooden santa is from joann's this is from joann's but see how it goes perfectly well with the the nordic warmer i mean it's like the exact same color um color i couldn't believe it so i got that one just to match that and this was at Joanne. And then these are Target, like the little houses and then the trees. This was Ikea tree. And then these are Target uh, Disney ornaments, okay, that I had focused on um, 
Disney Princess, but of course I had to have Mickey and Minnie, and then Stitch, and then um, Olaf and Jack Skellington over there. Okay. So this is uh, my living room. I've shown you a couple of warmers in here, but uh, for today I will be focusing on um, the warmer of the month for the month of December, which is the Polar Panorama. I have moved it over here. Previously it was over there. And then I think I'm going to show you guys those, um, my white and silver um, collection over there. Um, warmers all right so let's go ahead and get started I'm gonna go ahead and turn off the light first Alexa turn off living room lights okay <laughs> this one is a beautiful warmer this is our December of the month warmer and as a consultant we were able to receive um, this warmer about two weeks earlier than um, when it was released to the public on December 1st, if we were um, up for the subscription. Now, it was released December 1st, midnight Pacific time. It got sold out within, I think, I wanna say an hour or two hours. That is how popular this warmer is. And then they um, allowed the next morning to have a pre-order uh, for later shipments. So again, this is the Polar Panorama. Now, I, I love this warmer because it just reminds me of where I live, Pacific Northwest. It's supposed to reflect the northern lights. And it is best viewed um, during like um, evening or darker settings. Okay, so I only have this warmer um, early morning, so right now it is about 6.45, I believe, and then it is Wednesday, Wednesday, December 2nd, okay, but look how beautiful this warmer is. Uh, plants are, this is my Monstera, uh, my ferns. And then I also have a plant that's growing back there. Just kind of a little bit of nature. Okay. And I just turned it on. Okay. All right. Let me go ahead and walk you guys over to my living room. Um, like I said, it's very early in the morning. So I like to have the, the windows tied up so the sun can come in. And then I'll show you those warmers right here. Alexa, turn on living room lights. There. All right, so with this part of the living room, I, I have quite a few warmers in here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 9, 10, 11, plus the panorama, plus the mini. Uh, so about 12. <laughs> 12. All right. So I just turned on the warmers now because it's very early in the morning. So I'm filming this before I actually do my scents uh, because of the lighting. Now, this is the Starry Frontier. This is the warmer that I showed you guys last time. I absolutely love this. Like I said, I think it's a hidden jewel because there's not a lot of uh, videos of um, of videos uh, here on YouTube regarding the Frontier, the Starry Frontier. And I absolutely love it. It's one of my um, favorite warmer you can definitely use this year round but i think it's perfect for the holidays as well because it gives it that like the silhouette of in white of the trees and the way it's shaped it can be christmas trees and then like the moose the outdoor this one is i believe the church warmer and if it's not i'll definitely um I write all the description of the warmers into the description box. This is Bless This Home Warmer. 
and then this warmer was warmer of the month it's no longer available and then i'll also show you this one which is the gnome for the holidays so these three warmers right here let me turn on the light okay again the church this one's still available and this one i have in here okay i believe it was it's one of my bricks I changed it last night. Um, ginger and spruce. Yep, I think it's ginger and spruce. It's one of my favorite um, scents for the holidays. Okay. There you go. It's made out of tin, painted white, and then it has the, the tin um, uh, roof. Okay. And then it has the cross of the church. This one is Bless This Home. Again, warmer of the month. And then this one is no longer available, but I do have an older scent in here. Okay. This one was probably um, Arctic Kiss, I believe. So I haven't changed it. I, Whenever I change one of the warmers, um, I leave the old ones as is just to um just to enjoy the scents longer um since this is brand new and then also that was a bit brand new um then this one i did not change okay now this one is the gnome for the holidays, I had just gotten this one. It's no longer available, it's been sold out, but I was able to grab one and I couldn't be any more happier. So again, I just turned it on. This one is one of our new scents from the Bricks collection. Oh my gosh, I just love the gnomes. Okay, and then these, um, this one was from Target this year. Again, Target this year, just to add a little bit of a um, decor. The White Gnome from, gosh, I wanna say Target or Joann's. And then Target Dollar Spot. And then again, Target Dollar Spot Target. This gnome was Ikea. this side of the living room by the window um, I've mentioned before that I have the starry Christmas the glimmer and glow I want to say this is the Christmas glow um, warmer it was one of our warmer of the month a few years ago it's absolutely stunning so I'm going to show you without the light on it's no longer available. It's just like a giant red um, ornament. Okay, like that. And then on camera though, it seems like there's a um, like a white light glowing because of the light bulb, but in real uh, life, it does not. Okay, and it's huge. It's a huge warmer. Okay, let me go ahead and turn it on. All right, like I said, it, it shows it right here, but not in person. So it's a beautiful warmer. All right, friends, I just wanted to give you guys that addition in here because I have been actually using this warmer a lot too.